Hey everybody, this is Nace with South Four Farms. I uh, did not win anything with my representative meal, so I guess I gotta eat it. And that's what we're fixing to do. I got a maple thyme glazed ham, and we're gonna put that, I guess I'm gonna roast that on the, it's cooked. But anyway, I'm gonna put it, warm it up on the uh, baking sheet. I've got my uh, sweet potato casserole, and I'm gonna do that in a baking dish while I warm that up in the oven and I have a, a maple glazed carrots with rosemary and uh, black walnut uh, they were toasted black walnuts then I had for uh, salad I've got a mixed pickled vegetable uh, bread and butter style everything's sweetened with maple of course and I got my cranberry maple cranberry conserve and we're gonna find out how that is that's gonna be interesting and it's probably gonna be something that I won't, uh, I will substitute for cranberry sauce if I do turkey, because I always do duck for Thanksgiving. And then I had my maple citrus vinaigrette for the salad, and for dessert we had uh, peaches. And I don't know why they, I tell you, they were packed in there, but both I did two quarts, and both of them just that's all the <laughs> peaches did. I don't understand it. I guess maybe that's why I didn't win. But anyway, the peaches and heavy maple syrup. So we're going to get this started because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry. Get this, uh, yeah, maple thyme glazed ham. I'm going to pull that ham out of there. It was in the maple thyme. And this was, uh, I hope I can get it out. Well, it's not going to come out in one piece. Anyway, I've never eaten it like this. I always cook it fresh. But that ham, and I had it in the maple glaze. This is going to be interesting. There's some bigger chunks. There we go. It was a uh, Boston butt. It wasn't a ham. You can't do it cooked. So it's raw packed according to the Ball Blue Book. There we go. It's a nice piece. Get a little bit for our supper. There we go. I think that'll about do us. And then I'm gonna pour some of this glaze in there and let that, uh, and once it gets heated, the meat gets heated, I'll probably take that juice and simmer that back down. Uh, I meant to put that in on the sheet. I'm losing it. That's all right. I'll just do another little bacon dish for the uh, for the sweet potato casserole that's what I'll do maple bourbon sweet potato casserole we'll get this open I meant to put that meat on that bacon sheet I get to talking and I can't think that's all right and these are going to be excellent i had toasted uh black walnuts in here also and we've had this dish and i you know you just when you're canning stuff you can it different than how you cook it so we're going to do a good dab of this because this is not overly swell i guess i'll do it all that's what i'll do We'll just pour it all in there. Get all that deliciousness out of there. And that may make a, a, di a meal or two. Okay. Now, for my carrots, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. That oven, yes, it is preheated don't matter it, it was almost done if it wasn't now for the carrots I did a whole carrots well I sliced some of them tried to keep them a good average thickness instead of slicing them in little discs but I wanted a whole carrot and we'll see how these did I'll wipe this off a little bit Yeah, all the uh, black walnuts are up here on top. 
Yeah, the three entries for representative meals. They don't let you write down what anything is. I guess they just look at how stuff is canned. And uh, maybe my canning skills aren't up to par. We'll find out when we eat it. There's some carrots with the black walnuts. And little sprigs of rosemary coming out with it. There was a whole sprig when I put it in. Of course, when you can stuff, it gets mighty hot if you've never canned anything before. And if you haven't, get you a ball blue book and learn how to preserve some stuff. Because I tell you what, it's kind of fun. There we go. Get a chunk of black walnut. Mmm. Oh, it really takes on the flavor when you can it. You just that pressure canning forces all of that in there. That looks pretty good, and we're going to do that on the stove top. Then the salad, we'll have that. Get that open. When we go to eat, and we'll have our dessert. Everything's set over here. Get those sealed back. And, let's see. I think that's all I have to heat up. Mmm. Even the rosemary gets tender. Them little shoots, that was nice and tender too. That was, that was surprising. Use a smaller burner. Get that going. So we're going to find out how this does. I think it'll be great. <coughs> and uh, I'm interested to see. Well, I can use uh, mixed pickled uh, vegetables for a salad. They would be good just pickled. But... Mm. It smells good. I've got uh, bell pepper. I've got carrots. I've got uh, old zucchini. Uh, so I forgot what I put in it. Onion. That's nice. It's not overly sweet. And with that maple citrus vinaigrette, that is going to be really good. I have my uh, maple cranberry conserve. Never heard of it. I was flipping through it, ball blue book, and saw that, and I said, "We're gonna try that." Mmm. I did taste it when I was mixing it up. Had a little bit left over, but anytime I make uh, the, the meals, any time I can stuff to put in the fair, I don't do it year long. I just do one or two jars. Mm. Mixed pickled vegetables are good. This here has, uh, I forget what I put in that. Honestly, it was the cranberries. It was a whole orange. You chop it up just very coarsely. And it seemed, I seemed like there's something else. I can't remember. Some spices and maple syrup. And uh, I tell you what, if you ground that up, and made uh, more of a sauce out of it, it would be a really good smooth replacement for cranberry sauce. But with these chunks, let me get that pickle done. That is, that, those are great. Mm. Wow. That conserve, even with that orange rind in there, it's almost candied. And then you've got the uh, I forget. It seemed like I put black walnut in it. I'd have to get the book out to see because I just followed the recipe. The only difference I did, I used maple sugar instead of white sugar. But anyway, the vinaigrette is, is what I make and sell all the time. Maple syrup, we've always got that. And then uh, maple peach, or the peaches. Uh, and you can, you can do sugar and make your... Uh, heavy syrup and all that. And I said, why? I just poured maple syrup in it and said, that's heavy syrup. And uh, so anyhow, that's my meal and that's what we're eating tonight. 
since I didn't win at the fair, I got to eat it somewhere or another. So you all have a blessed day and come and see us. Uh, one blue ribbons with uh, three grades of maple syrup, the amber, the golden, and the very dark. And then I got third place on the dark. And we're getting starting to get some good competition. So it's, it's good. If you make any syrup, bottle yourself an eight ounce jar and send it to the state fair next year. And uh, just kind of help promote maple syrup in Kentucky. And anyway, this is Nace of South Four Farms, and we'll talk to you later.